Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Uh, it's already just starting to get dark and I, I just got home from work. and uh, But I found something sitting by my garage that I'm kind of excited about getting. So uh, let's take a look at that. I ordered a three-point trailer mover from Titan Attachments. And let's open this thing up and take a look at it and see what in all it is. So here's what we've got. I got the trailer mover and this particular one uh, came with the spears on it for uh, spearing like round bales of hay. And I decided to get this because like at Rural King uh, or Tractor Supply, either one, their three point trailer movers or like I think uh, Rural King was about $189. Uh, tractor Supply was $199. And this one by itself was like $130 something. And if you got it with the Spears, then it was $183, I believe it was. So this one, for the same price pretty much as the others, you get the Hay Spear attachments or add ons to it that you can just put those spears on there and use it for a spear for the rear of your tractor. And we, we move round bells and stuff around quite a bit. And if I end up round belling our field, uh, then I'll be able to move two bells at a time just by throwing in my spears and really paying the same price for uh, this attachment and getting basically two attachments out of one. So I'm gonna be able to use the trailer mover and then if need be, I can use the hay spear and use it to move multiple uh, round bells instead of only one with the front of the tractor. So it's pretty cool. I, I like that. And like I say, it, was, it seemed like a good price. It looks like it's well built. The paint on it isn't the greatest there ever was. You can tell like in some places that it's not real thick. They just put enough on there to keep it from kind of rusting from the factory. It is a little protective coating, but not great and around some of the edges and stuff uh, the paint's already kind of scraped off and a few little nicks and scratches and stuff here and there you can just tell that it's not real thick but i'm sure that's how they're saving a lot of their money and you know like some of their edges like right here it's a little bit rough cut um the one i looked at at tractor supply the fit and finish on it definitely looks better than this but i don't think that the build quality really looks any better as far as like how, or how heavy duty it is or anything like that it just seems like that those were built well but they were finished much better they they have a nicer end product out of it so even some of the wells like now this one the the well doesn't look all that great it's a little i don't know if you can see that but it's a little rough looking in the weld but again, for the money, uh, actually this gusset right here is not even straight. Uh, you would think that they would make that come at a 90, but you can see it's angled off to one side. But again, I mean, you kind of get what you pay for. But as long as this thing will hold up and move trailers around, then I really don't care. And if it'll, you know, uh, I can put the hay, the spikes in there and spear bell of hay and move it around and it and it holds together for that uh, that's what it was intended to use for so it shouldn't you know it should hold up to that also it doesn't have the uh the pins in it yet but it does have uh, category one pins but it came with the category two bushings for it so my tractor is a category two and at least I won't have to be looking for bushings to fit the category two that comes with them. So that's pretty cool. My main purpose for this three point trailer mover is to really put it on the tractor and move the new Easton made log splitter around. It's a heavy machine. It weighs, it's like 2000 pounds or maybe a little bit more than that. And I was using the razor to, to move it around. Like that machine is just not meant to, to really tow stuff around. It's a it's a sport machine. It's not a, even a utility machine. So anyways, uh, I don't have a utility machine. So I'm going to use my tractor for that. And then, of course, 
with the three point, um, I can back up to the splitter or even my trailers and stuff that I've got my 16 foot uh, tandem axle trailer that, you know, if I need to move it around or the horse trailer, I can just back up to it with the tractor, raise the three point up into the ball and then just go back and lock it down and take off with it. This three point trailer mover, I think is gonna work out real good for us. Uh, watch for upcoming videos because I will have some demos and that kind of stuff coming up. I just kind of wanted to do a quick video this evening to show that I got it and that we're going to be having it. So uh, if you like videos like this, make sure you click that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.